Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Disney News Reel. So I only picked three stories for us to go through today because um, there wasn't really a whole lot that happened. Um, so yeah, we don't have much to go over today, so it will probably be pretty short. So before we get into the news today, make sure that if you are not subscribed to the channel, you go ahead and do that down below. <clears throat> and uh, make sure you also leave us a like and a comment and let us know how we're doing. So the first story that I have is uh, Disney Resort sending cancellation emails to guests with reservations through September 26th. Um, so essentially, uh, this article talks about it's Walt Disney World is still is going through its phase reopening. Disneyland Resort still their their reopening is still stalled yes. um, because the government of California is still not letting them open mm -hmm. um, because they're incredible they've they're incredibly worried especially with how dense the population is there it's yeah. it's more dense than it is in Orlando I, th I think it's pretty close to the same number of people there's more okay. in LA but it's just but it's just it's more dense it's it's packed right. in tighter the, it's more like New York where they're packed in like sardines yeah and the fact that Disney World has a big, big property where you can really isolate, and Disneyland doesn't. Right, yeah. It's just the two parks, and they're right next to each other, and then all the and hotels the, are right there. And they're and all and smack dab in the middle of a big metro area. It's, yeah. Yeah. I can see why Disneyland's not going to be opening yeah. anytime soon. I don't know if they'll actually stay closed. There's rumors they're staying closed at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that'll happen. Yeah. But just again, it's all it's all dependent on the government of California and the government of LA, and like the reason that the one in Orlando, that the government of Orlando, and Florida decided that they wanted to push for the theme parks to reopen is because that is their, the biggest money maker for that's their economy, the city down there, and and most of the state. Mm -hmm. Whereas California, has that control. park is in Anaheim, which is a suburb of LA or a section of LA. And perfect. they have, yeah, and they... They have other draws. They have, they have lots other, of other draws. They're yeah. not dependent on that tourism. No. Like Florida is. Right. And so they can afford, as a city and as a state, they can afford to leave those parks yeah. closed, whereas Florida and, and Orlando really can't. Right. You know? Um, yeah, so everybody that had reservations mm -hmm. like that received you this... This email. Um, this stock email that's just says essentially that your your trip has been affected by we recognize that the COVID-19 situation is constantly evolving and um, that your trip has affected your trip and um, unfortunately this means we are unable to accommodate your upcoming hotel room reservation um, essentially mm -hmm. saying we're not allowed to open so you know what's interesting about that is this is only through the 26th that it's canceled mm -hmm. So it means that they're really like they're really tr hoping to open soon. They are. Because if they were pl if they were like, yeah, we're not going to open for a while, they would cancel further out. Mm -hmm. But they're almost, this is only like two weeks out. Yep, one week actually. The resort had previously canceled reservations through the nineteenth. Oh yeah, so they just so they're so they really... added another week. So they're they're literally what they're doing is they're going week by week. Yeah. So if think, it doesn't look like there's a, they're going to let them reopen, then they cancel another week. And then if it still doesn't look like it, then they'll cancel another week. That's kind of how they're doing it. Yeah. So that that means that they're really they're really hoping to open soon. They are. And I think that we're probably looking at a soon or more a sooner update. Oh, that's such a bad phrase. I don't like that. <laughs> um, I think that we're looking at them opening sooner than we think. Yeah. And I I would hope so, but. Yeah, because it, it, for Disney, being closed this long is really kicking them. So. Yeah, it is. Um, but kind of related to that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I had noticed this article come by, come through yesterday, um, and I told Anna about it. But So this, ar this article is, Analysts call 2021 a lost year for Disney theme parks, predicts, um, predicts they won't fully recover until fiscal year 2023. Honestly, I could see that. Yeah, because... Like, they have been so heavily impacted because Disney World was closed for... See, they reopened in July, so they were closed for four months. Disney Disneyland World's California has been closed. closed for has been closed right now for about six months, mm -hmm. roughly. Um, Hong Kong and Shanghai were both closed for about four to five months, and then Hong Kong yeah. reclosed. Yep. I, don't, I think Shanghai is still open, which is weird. 
Um, or maybe they closed both of them. I don't, I don't remember. I don't um, Tokyo was closed for, you know, like four months. And Paris was closed. Or is Paris still closed? I think Paris is still closed. I think Paris is still closed. But it's like, they've had to close these parks for so long. And they're such big money makers that... It, well, it definitely you, hurts them. And you got to think there's multiple factors. It doesn't, it's not just this. It's like, so you're looking at right now, even with those parks being open, they're at very reduced capacity. Yes. They, I think somebody found out it's, it's about 30% capacity roughly in um, Orlando. Is there, is there allowance? And they're not even hitting that though. So that's, Most of the time, yeah. That's something else to think about is they have a 30% mm -hmm. capacity, but they're not even making that 30%. Yeah, they hit that on Labor Day weekend, but other than that... They haven't been hitting it, so no. they're not even at 50% capacity. Mm -hmm. um, most of their hotels aren't open because that's the other thing is... Even if they were sitting at 30% capacity and actually uh -huh. packing that 30% capacity, their hotels aren't open, so they yeah. don't even have that money coming in. No. They're losing money because you can't get annual passes right now, so nobody's upgrading, and they lost a lot of their annual pass holders. Mm -hmm. Especially after a lot of annual pass holders called it quits after um, Bob Chapik made his statement about essentially more or less saying that they didn't that they don't care about they annual were, pass holders they the money that they right they care about people that are coming in from like that made a lot of people go well screw you then and yeah. cancel their annual passes um they also um because they've lost a lot of services right now mm -hmm. because they're not doing dining plan because most of the restaurants yep. are closed anyway yep. and there's also things like taking magical express isn't as big of a draw right now because you have to collect your own luggage. Yes. There's nobody collecting it for you. Yep. Um, there's not a huge amount of benefits to staying on site at this point. So they're losing money on hotels mm -hmm. and who knows when they'll be able to open up to more capacity. Yeah. And so they may not be able to open up to more capacity mm -hmm. until further into 2021. Right. And so then that means they've lost all that money. They're not, they don't have Halloween party. They don't have Christmas party. So mm -hmm. those are those extra ticket sales they're losing out on. Yep. Like food and wine is in a big draw right now because half the booths are closed. There's, they're just, there's no, like, it's nice because the parks are at reduced capacity. So mm -hmm. you are really looking at being able to get on most of the rides and have a good short day without all the crowds. Yeah. But that's the only draw right now. Mm -hmm. There's so much lacking mm -hmm. that there's not a big draw. And until they bring those things back, there's not going to be a big draw. Right. And so... You know, I think with Di like with Disneyland, too, they're just kind of burning through money in Disneyland right now because they have a bunch of people back working at Disneyland getting right. it ready to reopen. Yep. Because they're they're hoping and planning for, for, for it to, be, it to be able to open soon. And so they've gotten people down there and they're getting things, they were getting things cleaned up and all that good stuff. But it's like, so you're paying these people, but you're not getting any money in yeah. intake. There's no income there. No. So I can see like next year is still going to be a financial drop for them. They're not going to regain anything. And in fact, they're probably going to lose money next year. Mm -hmm. And then 2020 is going to be their recovery year. 2022. In yeah, that's what I meant. 2022. Um, is going to be the recovery year. Yep. And then they're not going to start getting back into the green until 2023. Probably. So I can see that being very accurate. Yep, I could too. But, okay. Last but not least, more cancellation stuff. <laughs> um, Disneyland Resort cancels Candlelight Processional for 2020 holiday season. That and this so had to do with the, with the last thing too, the last story too, um, it's because I read the, when I read this earlier, it talks about like they can't. Um, so where was it? Was it the restriction? There it is. Uh, no. So it says with Disneyland parks still closed, the ability to plan ahead for such a large event proved to be impossible. And yeah. I agree with that. You can't plan for how many no. people you're going to be able to have because in order to do parties like this, the very merry Christmas party, the you know minis Halloween. I can't, I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. Um, um, but there's also the Candlelight Processional and Epcot they canceled. Yes. And the, yeah, they'd already canceled the Epcot one. And so, but in order to plan things out like this, you have to kind of plan for about how many people you're going to have. Like you have to have those ticket sales for it so that you can plan, okay, we're going to have, you know, this many thousand people 
so how many cast members are we going to need for that mm -hmm. to kind of control the crowds and to run all these different stands mm -hmm. and different things you need that planning but you can't but do you that can't plan that in this t in this time where we yeah. don't know what will be that that point yeah. in time and the other thing with that is they also like if you know if we're at 30 percent capacity if they yeah. plan for 30 percent capacity but then but then only get like 10 percent capacity then they've mm -hmm. lost all the money they put into it yeah because so. they will then they'll be paying a bunch of cast members unless they you know send them home which sucks for the, which cast, sucks members. For the cast members and if you know if they unless they do that then they're going to be losing that money because that cast member didn't need to be there yeah you know they're going to have a bunch of cast members that really aren't doing anything because mm -hmm. there's too many of them yeah it's i can see why they've canceled it and i don't yeah. blame them it no. a lot of people think it has to do with crowd control but it's not really no. it's more of a it's because cost of the planning and cost yeah it's planning and cost they're they're not going to be able to afford to have the parties this no. year no and that's as simple as it is because at this point that's the other thing is at this point um the draw of the part part of the draw of the parties was the reduced capacity of the park yes because there's less people there so you don't have the weights for the rides and things like that that's part of the draw of it mm -hmm. but we're already at reduced capacity right so you could go there on a park day and still get that same experience right rather than paying extra for this party yeah that's true so why why would you pay extra for it yeah exactly so yeah that's all the the news we have for today i said it's a lot of stuff to do with cancellations which i mean i'm mm -hmm. not necessarily surprised about you know it's just that's kind yeah. of the the atmosphere that we live in right now so that's where we're at in the world <laughs> yeah so i'm hoping that here before too long within the next couple of weeks we'll start to have some better news than that but you know so thank you all for joining us this week and come back and join us again next week. But until then, don't forget to, to thank, thank the, the Phoenicians. Phoenicians.